All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We got a Chicago Bulls video for you guys. Hope you guys are having an incredible Wednesday. The week is getting close to being over. It's a nice, great day here in Chicago. Very, very, very Chicago-esque in early March. But last night, man, 123 to 102. This was a win that I definitely expected to have. There was a brief scare in the second quarter there. Um, for all the Bulls fans out there watching this video, we all can remember the last time we played the Thunder and they had just, it was such a bad loss. They had a fourth quarter comeback. It was just so depressing. It was really demoralizing. Not this time. Their run came in the second half, but the Bulls actually kind of shut it down there at the end of the second and just the entire second half. So they are now 18 and 20. They definitely, definitely, definitely need to be winning these types of games for the remainder of the season if they want to make the playoffs. Zach Levine didn't even play in the fourth quarter. He dropped 40 points extremely efficient 15 of 20 from the field 7 of 12 from deep it was beautiful he only played 30 minutes and he dropped 40 points i think we all know he will eventually drop 50 points but definitely definitely not the night considering it was just a blowout man we outscored levine scored 20 points in the third quarter and we outscored him 31 to 16 so it was just fully the zach levine show in the third quarter Lori marketing also had a very impressive game 22 points 7 of 14 shooting he had three threes two blocks i like to see Lori be aggressive offensively like this i want him to crash the board so much harder like I feel like I say this every video, so I'm not going to say it again, or I'm not going to elaborate on it. But once again, the switch to Sadoransky and Thaddeus Young starting is just phenomenal. Sado had a good night, 13 points, 7 assists, very efficient shooting night, but he also threw in 3 steals. Thaddeus Young, man, the tough part about Thaddeus Young is all these starts are probably going to unqualify him for the six man because he was a legitimate six man candidate i mean last night this dude is is every game and now that he's starting it's just oh my god i'm having a blast watching him 17 points nine rebounds six assists eight of 11 from the field threw in two steals you know this man's gonna get his first career triple double any day now i cannot wait he is playing so good for us I, like, words literally cannot describe how much I've loved Thaddeus Young this whole season. 12 points per game, 4 assists per game, 6 rebounds per game. He's 32, man. We got him for cheap. It, I am absolutely loving it. Patrick Williams, unfortunately, wasn't his best shooting night, which is a little interesting. Or not interesting. A little tough considering he's just coming off his career high against Toronto. But 1-9 from the field, it just wasn't his night. I fully expect this man to break out. I had I talked very highly of him in my last video. I had some Bulls fans saying, you know, maybe slow your roll about that. But I still truly believe Patrick Williams. I really think he's that fucking dude. Like, I really do. Off the bench. Off the bench. Kobe White was kind of my only concern. I liked Otto. I liked Wendell. Wendell only played 22 minutes last night, but he was very aggressive. 9-9. Nine nine. I love seeing Wendell be aggressive offensively. That's exactly what we need him to do. But I want to talk about Kobe White because Kobe White, his confidence looked kind of iffy last night. And that's something that I didn't really pick up on the first couple of games since they made the switch because it seemed like him and Wendell kind of accepted it with open arms. They understood it. And they weren't upset about it. I'm not saying obviously they'll be upset about Kobe and all that, but Kobe White's our third lead. He's like our third high scorer. He's averaging almost 16 points per game. He's only 21 years old. Like he is younger than me. So to me, Kobe White is very important that he just his morale it stays up because just because he's on the bench, still played 28 minutes last night, just because he's on the bench doesn't mean we don't need him. Doesn't mean we don't need that spark off the bench. We need him to be that spark off the bench. Yeah, he has. We've got our issues with Kobe and his playmaking abilities. Like, we're not here to dispute that, but it is what it is. You're on the bench now and might as well try to be that spark. It just wasn't his night last night. Hopefully, 
But I don't want to see this kind of be something consistent that we see because Sadoransky being a starter is, is exactly what the Chicago Bulls needed. They needed that playmaker, facilitator, good defender, very solid, very gritty guy. And I, I love Kobe, but I'm just saying he has a lot of work to do, particularly on the defensive end, especially like it just wasn't going to work with Kobe and, and Zach being our backcourt duo every single game considering how bad both of their defense can be and just there's no playmaking with Kobe Wire. It's just very minimal. So I really love Kobe Wire, and I know he's going to continue to work on it, work hard, and I'm rooting for him. I don't want the Bulls to give up on him too soon. He's only 21 years old. I'm not saying I'm worried about that or anything, but I just want his confidence to stay up. I want Kobe White to absolutely thrive. I wish he was starting for us. Like I wish him starting just made the most sense, but I mean, it really doesn't So at, at this current stage. So we play the Spurs tonight back-to-back, and hopefully these guys are rested, ready to go. Obviously, like I mentioned, Levine didn't even play the fourth, so I don't expect that to be an issue. Probably do a recap video for you guys later tonight, but let me know if you're enjoying these Chicago Bulls videos. I hope you guys are having a great day. Like I said, hit that sub button if you enjoyed. Really helps me out, really helps out the algorithm, and uh, I'll see you guys later.